What's Crackalackin everybody, your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. Today I have teamed up with Takis themselves and they sent me so many Takis that I had to make something giant with it. I thought to myself, what better way to incorporate these delicious Takis than making a DIY giant Takis pizza. DIY, DIY giant Takis. I'm no longer the baker's man, today I am the Takis man, Jared. Are you wearing the jewels too? I got the jewels on. I might have to take them off this episode. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see what happens when we start making this DIY giant Takis pizza. Today we are in none other than the infamous hometown sports grill in Ottawa. You already know what it is. Your boy Hemi 350, AKA my not so little brother, hooked it up for the night. So your boy's in a professional kitchen once and for all. I like your and little uh... You see me with the name tag, you see me with the hometown. I, I'm official, I'm on payroll here. I'm quitting YouTube and I might take up a serving job. Hey Bongo, who's filming for you? <laughs> Behind the camera today, I have none other than my main man, Chad with the J. Here! Here! Guys, we filmed a taste test on Jad's channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. I'll leave a link to his channel in my description below. Also guys, I'm giving away a PS4 and a ton of Apple gift cards, so make sure you guys go check out my giveaway link. It is also in the description. But, without any further ado, let's get into this DIY. What's step number one? Step number one! First step in making this DIY giant Takis pizza is obviously to get your instruments. Guys, I have a huge pan here. Not only do I have one, I got two, and I got another one. And I got myself a rolling pin. Don't ever play yourself. This is gonna come in as a major key. But before we get started, we need to take Crisco. Guys, Crisco is an all vegetable shortening that you use so that it's kind of like an anti-stick method thingy majiggy, all right? So we're gonna take as much Crisco as we can. As you can see, guys, I'm just gonna lather up these trays. Don't be shy if you are, for some reason, making this DIY giant Takis pizza. Don't ever play yourself and use a lot of Crisco on your pan. Yeah, what's that big word you use? Adhesive. Isn't it an adhesive? No, it's an anti-adhesive. Oh, it's an anti-adhesive. It's an anti-adhesive. We actually want it to come off clean, so we're anti-adhesiving the, 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 the thing. Second tray, again, as you can see, this one's nice and greased up. So make sure you guys are using a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. All right, so I'm gonna continue greasing these guys up until we have all three of our pans ready, and then we'll be ready to start rolling out our dough to get this DIY going. Here. Show me here. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have greased up all three trays. They are nice and greasy. Thank you to Jad, I have my dough. And guys, these are pre-packaged. Not really, they're actually homemade here so this is like a homemade dough that I didn't do myself but you guys can go out and get your own dough it'll work just perfectly but what you guys want to do is press out the dough to start all right you guys want to get it going you want to make sure and you know what I'll put this down it's time to take oh, jewels no, off no, 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 it's no, no, time no. to take jewels off we're gonna get dirty here lie on here so you guys want to take your dough and start stretching it out like so, all right? Once you have a little base, you can actually put it on your finger and start whipping. Whoa, look at this. I'm actually learning from my little brother. Pizza dough here, trick shots. This. this guy does pizza oh, dough oh, trick shots. Here. Another one. No, 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 no. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do this with the help of my brother because he's so much better at this than I am. But I will help and I will stretch out as much as I can. Guys, pizza is really hard to work with. But I believe in you guys. You guys can probably do this yourself at home. So we're going to stretch out some of this dough and then we're going to plop it down into our tray. And as you guys can see, we're going to start rolling it out into each individual tray. And then we are ready to start putting some toppings onto our DIY giant Takis pizza here. Yo, where are these Takis, bro? I'm trying to try one. Bro, the Takis. Here. I want the spiciest one you got. Yo, try one of those, bro. These are the classic Takis right here. These Fuego ones. Here. All right, let's give these guys a taste. Jago? Hundo P, bro. Classic. I love Takis. They're so good. So spicy. Guys, these are hot sellers in the States. Every time we go to the States, we end up munching a bunch of Takis. But guys, they're finally coming to Canada. Uh, I am stoked. How's it? What's going on? Are we working it out here? We're working it out, bro. Things are working well? Things are looking good. I'm cool. helping a lot. We have our first one? We have the first one. Here! here. Alright, on to the next one. I'm gonna help out a lot over here. I'm helping, guys. I'm, I'm making sure that I'm doing this properly. Alright, guys, I'm sweating up a storm. This is taking longer than I expected. I'm working so hard out here. Honestly, if it wasn't for my personal assistant, I don't know what I would do. So shout out to my little bro. He's hooking it up. Alright, down. Press, press, press. Guys, I'm working so hard. What a cheerleader press, looking press. at. No, I'm a trainer. I'm a trainer. Flip, flip, spin, spin, 
spin, slap it down. No, spin again. Here, keep going. One more. Another one. Another one. Yo, do a double. Do a double. A double. No. Oh, catch it. Ready? I'll catch it. Here. Ooh. Here. And boom, guys. I have single-handedly rolled out all on his own. All three pieces of this dough, I had. No help whatsoever. So thanks for standing by and watching me do no all that. Just to supervise. All right, cool. On to the next step. Okay, guys. So for this pizza, Takis actually sent me three different types of Takis. We got the Fuego. We got the Explosion, which is like some nacho cheese flavor, and we got the Fajita. So here's what I'm thinking. We are gonna make a Fajita style. DIY giant Takis pizza, which means we are stuffing the crust with the Fuego. So what I've done is I've actually stretched out another tray of dough. I'm gonna use that tray of dough to line out my crust and I'm gonna stuff the crust with our Fuego Takis. So to start your Takis stuffed crust, what you guys will need is some Fuego Takis. As you guys can see, these Takis are nice and rolled up, all right? This is gonna be perfect for our crust. We don't have to crush them or anything. We can actually just start lining them up here. Let's do two Takis around the whole thing. That's a nice crust. Actually. Actually, two is perfect. We're gonna start lining up the Takis around the pizza. And that's gonna create our crust for our Takis. Guys, as you can see, the, the, there's just endless amounts of Takis here. We're just gonna keep going around the pizza. We're not gonna waste any time here. And we're just gonna keep going around the pizza until our entire crust is complete. So here we go, speed round time. Pew! Look at all that progress though. What the fuego is going on guys? We have our fuego stuffed crust in the making here. So here we go, I just finished it up. As you guys can see, I've made an entire crust. I did spill my Takis here, so that might play a little part in the coloration of the pizza, but that doesn't matter because as you guys can see, I have a nice crust ready to go. Now, the next step is I'm gonna take some dough that I've rolled out here, I'm gonna cut them up and start stuffing the top here. I'm gonna take a very small knife, I'm gonna make some strips in my additional dough here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it from the top here, guys. I'm just gonna cut down nice and straight all the way to the bottom of Take this strip. Here. And guys, now I'm gonna start making my crustas. So Ooh. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start layering it right on top like so. And boom, there's my Takis stuffed crust, all right? So I'm gonna go around the pizza like so. Guys, look at my finger technique. What I'm doing is I'm blending the two pieces of dough together. And as you can see, I got a nice little crust going on here. So I'm gonna continue that for the entire pizza and then we are ready to start putting some sauce on this guy. Sauce it up. Alrighty guys, as you can see, I'm doing some final touches on the pizza. I've taken those extra strips of dough and I've layered them down. What I've also done is I've taken a little bit of the bottom of the original dough and kind of folded it over on top of the other dough as well. That's just gonna create an extra layer just in case this thing decides to bust open in the oven and we don't want that. But as you guys can see, we have a nice Taki stuffed crust onto this pizza. It is time to start putting some pizza sauce on this guy. You guys want it so. Well, I brought the sauce. Here! All right, guys, what you guys want to do is you actually want to take the sauce and evenly start distributing this guy all over the pizza. This is going to create a nice sauce topping for your pizza. Guys, look at this flick of the wrist here. Boom, boom, boom. You just want to cover your entire pizza with the sauce. But you don't want to get lost in the sauce. You can't get lost in the sauce because if you have too much sauce, you might get lost. But we're trying not to get lost in the sauce. Now we're gonna move on to another one. Here, all right, start spreading out your sauce. Easy flick of the wrist. Continue spreading the sauce until it is all over the pizzas equally here. All right, working on our last pizza here and we have one more corner to go, so here. You didn't get lost in the sauce. I didn't get lost in the sauce. I actually evenly distributed the sauce. You can call me the sauce plug, all right? Cause I got, I got sauce in New York. I, I got sauce in LA, I, I got sauce in the Midwest, I got sauce all over the place. Here we go guys, next step is to start putting some toppings on this DIY Giant Takis pizza. First topping, green pepper. With it, no. Someone say green pepper. Perfect. On to the onions. I don't really care if you cry because of the onions, but I'm gonna put some onions on. Look at that color variation, guys. I love red Ooh. onions and green peppers. Honestly, I don't know why they're called red onions. They're definitely purple. It is what it is. You know, you just gotta go with the flow here. So boom, some onions onto our pizza. Boom, boom, boom. Here. Now, obviously, we are gonna use our Takis as our chicken finita. The main event. Ooh. Delicious. So we're gonna start spraying these Takis onto our pizza, guys. Here, boom, boom, boom. Evenly distribute these Takis. Start on this side. Yo, this low key is starting to look 
delicious. Man, I'm telling you, this is gonna be incredible. We need more talkies. Here. Here. And... Here. Here. It is time to move on to our cheese layer, guys. This is my favorite part of any pizza, obviously. The cheese is the major key. All right, guys, so I have a blend of cheddar and mozzarella cheese here. This is gonna go perfect on our pizza. So we're gonna use this to evenly spread it around the pizza here. And we're just gonna continue doing that until our entire pizza is covered in chaise. Yo, this is low key. Beautiful. Look at this sprinkle technique, guys. Evenly sprinkle it on your pizzas. Another one. Here. Say cheese. This is the most cheese you've ever been. Sprinkle it over here, sprinkle it over here, sprinkle some over here. All right, guys, so we have completed the cheese layer, but we are gonna add a little touch of our explosion talkies, all right? We're I like just, that. We're just gonna put a couple here and there. You guys can see, actually, the color difference between these talkies. Those other ones are a little bit more red. These ones are a little bit more orange. Nice, thanks, Chad. This is gonna give us some more cheese flavor. Boom, a little bit more here. Here, boom. Now we have a DIY uncooked giant Takis pizza. So here we go, we are gonna plop this guy into the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Pizza doesn't take too long to cook. And then we are ready to taste this guy. Bro, hurry it up. I'm trying to munch this immediately. Into the oven it goes. Here, another one. Another one. Ooh. Here. Close that up. Ten minutes on the clock, guys. Here we go. Alrighty, the moment you guys have been waiting for. Here it is. A DIY giant coffee pizza. Oh my god. Take a look at this guy. Guys, this turned out way better than I expected. Look at it. I have the Takis here. You can take a look. The cheese looks incredible. The sauce is nice and saucy. The stuffed crust, guys. Take a look at the stuffed crust. Honestly, ooh, you got the red color in there. I can't wait to taste test this guy. What are we waiting for, Jad? Are you down for a slice of Takis pizza? Immediately. Let's do this. Me, I'm going to fold it so I can get the spicy and the nacho in one bite. You ready? I like that. Bruh. <laughs> I swear to you, I went to the bathroom, bro. And bro, he I made this. You helped you me. Didn't make you this. helped me make no. this. I made it, bro. Ready? Yeah, give it a shot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bro. I like that. I like that. Bro, it was a banger. Can you taste the Takis? Yeah, I can. Ooh, I like that. Bro, you need to try this immediately. I'm down. Take one, one more Actually, bite. Give me one second, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh mm. wow. Jad's going mm. off right now. Oh, my God. Mm. Like, mm. Mm. High five. Yeah. Uh. Cheese! Uh. Okay, so Jad's mouth is completely full right now, but it is my turn to taste test this pizza. All right, we're gonna take this slice here, and uh, we're actually gonna try some of the stuffed crust first. Mm. Oh my God. You know what I mean? The crunch is still there. This is incredible. Mm. Mm. I don't know what's better, the, the crust or the pizza? I don't know how I keep doing yeah. this, guys. There's no words for this one, you know? It's I actually delicious. I don't know delicious. how I keep doing this. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down, smash that thumbs up button. I gotta give a huge shout out to the main man behind the camera, Chad with a J. Jado, thank you so much for helping me out with this one. Like I was saying before guys, we did a taste test on Jad's channel, so make sure you guys go check it out. Again guys, I have to give a huge thank you to Takis themselves for hooking the boy up. To all my Canadian viewers out there guys, these are now available in Canada, so don't be shy. Make sure you guys go grab a bag of Takis, tweet me a picture, put it on your IG. Also guys, don't forget I am giving away a PS4 and a bunch of Apple gift cards, so check out my giveaway link in the description. And of course guys, I have to give a huge shouty to Hometown Sports Girl for hooking your boy up with a kitchen for the night. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. Guys, go check them out on Twitter. Tweet them, tell them Bongo says thank you. Again guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and till next time. Take it easy, it's Bongeezy!